This video explains how to remove and replace a damaged Armstrong Country Classic tongue and groove plank. Remember to use caution to avoid damaging the face of the adjacent planks. Safety glasses and gloves are recommended. Pause the video here to review the required tools. To begin, remove the damaged plank using the same process whether your planks were installed using adhesive, staples, or the Easy Up track and clip system. Use a sharp utility knife to make five cut lines in the damaged plank. Always cut away from the outside edge of the plank toward the center to avoid damage to the remaining planks. This may take multiple passes with the knife to cut all the way through the plank. After the cuts are made, remove the center section. One at a time, slide the remaining plank sections toward the open center and let them fall out. Be sure to remove all the damaged plank pieces. If the plank contained many staples, be sure to remove broken or hidden flange pieces behind the adjacent planks. When removing the damaged plank, you will see the Easy Up metal track and clips if used during the plank's original installation. Once the damaged plank is removed, slide and remove the clips that held the old plank into the opening. Turn the clips around and snap them back onto the track with the teeth facing the remaining undamaged planks. With the damaged plank removed, prepare the new plank for installation. Flip the new plank over so it's face down. Remove both flanges, but do not penetrate the face of the plank. Once the flanges are removed, cut off the tongue and the short end of the plank, but do not remove the bevel. This part will be visible once installed. The new plank should now fit into the space of the removed, damaged plank. If your original planks were installed using the Easy Up method, an additional step is required before the new plank can be installed. Hold the plank up to the opening and mark the back of the plank at the grooved edge where the sides of the track will contact the plank. These marks will be your guide for inserting the clips into the long side of the plank's cut edge. If your original installation used adhesive or staples, install the replacement plank with adhesive. Apply adhesive to the back of the plank per the manufacturer's recommendations. If desired, apply a small amount of white adhesive to the cut flange. Lift the plank into place and insert the remaining flange into the installed plank while carefully using the tongue as a hinge to swing the plank up into place. The plank should be pushed up so it is flush with the adjacent planks. If using Easy Up clips, you should hear a snap as the clip engages into the track. If using adhesive, push several straight pins through the plank into the furring strip at an angle to temporarily hold the plank in place. Remove the pins 24 hours later once the adhesive is set. Wipe off any fingerprints or adhesive that is on the face of the plank. For additional installation support, contact our tech line for assistance.